Hey, this is Matt, and I'm going to show you how to do the creative project using MuseScore. So, the first thing to do is go find MuseScore. The icon looks like this. And for the project, you're going to create a new score rather than use a template. So, you're going to click on this box and give your piece a name. Uh, you can give it a put your name in as the composer and etc etc but uh, you really just need a title for this one hit the next page and this is a critical step you're going to pick the grand staff this is the piano staff that has the bass clef and the treble clef tied together uh, so for the project you're going to have chords in the bass clef and the melody in the treble clef so pick the grand staff and then this is another critical step for the project you're going to be using at least three sharps or flats in your key signature. So you can use anything from three sharps here over to three flats over here. Now notice if you hover over the key signature for a minute, the, uh, you have a, a window pops up and it'll tell you what key it is, E flat major in this case, or go back and do that again, or C minor. And for every key signature, uh, it can be either a major key or a minor key. Uh, for the case, for this case, I'm going to use uh, a C minor, three flats, so I'm going to select this, and then hit the next page again, and this is where you pick your time signature, so you're going to do two phrases, one is going to be in 4-4, um, four, four, uh, a phrase or a piece, uh, and the other one has to be in either 3-4 or 6-8. So 4-4 four, four is the default, that's the easy one, um, I'm going to show you how to change that to 3-4. Uh, or 6-8. So use the little arrow keys to toggle uh, the number of notes in a measure. Um, but we're going to go with either 3-4 here or you go up to 6 and select 8. And uh, you don't need to do a pickup measure. This is if there are a few extra notes before the downbeat of the first measure. Uh, please don't do that for the sake of this project. We're going to keep it really simple. Uh, it's just going to be 8 bars long. So you uh, can pick the number of bars, bars or measures, that they mean the same thing in this case, um, by using the little up and down arrow keys, or you can just type it in. Um, or you can delete them or add them later. And I'm actually going to show you how to do that just in case you mess up. Um, so I'm going to go to finish here, and you can see that there are way too many bars here. There really should only be eight. And um, if you accidentally make a mistake, you can hit the, sh the shift key, and highlight a bunch of measures and then if you hold down control and click within this frame again you can select delete selected measures and then it'll get rid of those so I really just need eight exactly eight one two three four five six seven eight and then everything else I'm gonna get rid of oops and I'm gonna hold down shift and then I'm gonna hold down control and delete selected measures. So now you have your little template for your piece and it's time to start entering notes. So uh, to enter note entry mode you can either click on this button up here or you can press N on the keyboard. And I just hit N to toggle that on and off and if you look up here in the left corner you'll see that that uh, button uh, light up when it's on. So then you can choose notes from your palette here, and you can, uh, I'm going to put the chords in first. So uh, in the bass clef here, I'm going to put a dotted um, half note, so it fills up the entire measure. And so to add a dot to a note, you select the note first, and then select the dot um, or double dot tool. But for this case, for the chords, in 6-8 time, we're just going to use a dotted half note. Hit the dot and then I'm going to drop a note into the bass clef. So for C minor, um, you need to build a C minor triad uh, in the first measure. So for this, for your, for the project, you're going to have to be using um, tonic triads. So if you're in C minor, it starts on a C minor triad, um, but you're going to have to be using a tonic triad to begin and end the piece. So remember that the note names in the bass clef are different from what they are in the treble clef. So a lot of people learn treble clef first, and if I dropped a note right here, that would be a C, uh, or this here would be a C. But uh, this note down here in the bass clef 
is a C. So I'm going to drop that in there. And notice that you can actually hear it when you drop the note in, which is cool. That's the beauty of working in a program like MuseScore or Notepad, is you get to hear your work. So and, um, now we're going to build the triad. And for this piece, we're going to be using root position triads in closed voice. So they are going to look like little snowmen, like this. And if you put a note in, uh, you can actually use your arrow keys to move them up or down. If your triads look like this, uh, well, that's actually not a triad, but if it starts to look like this where the notes are spread out, something is wrong. Uh, it needs to look like this. Closed voice root position. Okay, and then you can uh, put triads in the other measures here. It's not quite as easy as it is in uh, Notepad because um, Notepad you can actually populate every measure with like a C minor triad and then move them up and down diatonically with arrow keys. Uh, in this case, it, do it does it chromatically and then you have to go back and fix it. It's not even worth doing. So um, you for the next measure, you can go back to the note entry mode, and then you'll have to pick um, or build another triad here. And then, um, let's see, put some other ones in here. And then uh, for the minor one, um, remember that you have to use one dominant chord uh, that's a major triad in, in the minor key. So in the case of C minor, it's going to be a G major triad. So to do that, you're going to have to change this B flat to a B natural. So if you select the note, you can use the arrow key. Oops. Select the note here. You can use the arrow key up to turn it to B um, natural. And then we'll go back to, let's see, we'll go back to it. C triad here. Notice if you make a mistake when you enter a note, you can use the arrow key um, to go up or down chromatically. Um, let's see. Do another triad here. And tonic. And let's see. Maybe we'll go back to the, the dominant. Do that twice. Your piece. And we'll go back home. So remember, you have to end the piece on a tonic triad, again, C minor. Now you're ready to enter the melody, and then, so you can, uh, let's get out of our dotted half note mode, um, you can use these other note values to start entering your melody. Uh, and then, you, the melody is going to go in the treble clef here. So now, it's the fun part, you get to start creating things, putting notes in, and notice that I started, this is in C minor, so I started on C, it's usually a good place. And then good melodies usually have a combination of stepwise motion, going up or down a scale, um, in conjunction with some um, skips and leaps. So to make, I'll make a skip like this, maybe we'll jump up and um, come back down. And the other thing that you have to do is use a combination of note values. So here I've done all eighth notes, um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix things up uh, by picking a different note value. And then uh, <clears throat> put that in here. And then, um, let's see, we're almost there. Now I'm going to put, let's see, maybe another one there. And then let's go back to our eighth notes. And if you, here's another critical uh, step that a lot of people make a mistake with on uh, this project, is in your dominant, your five chord in the minor example, that if you have a natural sign um, in the bass clef here on a B natural, if you have a B um, in your melody, like, like, <clears throat> like this, it needs to be uh, a natural as well. Oops, now notice that I made a mistake. Uh, I left the dot on here. So I can just do Apple Z to undo. Let me get rid of those two notes. Or you can highlight it and delete it too. Um, so let's get rid of that and we'll jump down to my B natural again. Arrow key up. And let's preview the piece here. 
Um, so now you can use your little play buttons here. <clears throat> okay, and if there's a note that bugs you, like this note here bugged me, <clears throat> or a couple of these notes bug me, um, then <laughs> you can use your arrow keys to go back and, and fix problems. So let's see how that sounds. Okay, so you're off to the races here. Um, you're almost ready to finish it up. Uh, I recommend at this point jumping into about four minutes into my finale tutorial because it gets into how to build phrases. Um, but for the sake of, of layout, um, this is all you have to do to save <clears throat> your, uh, your piece uh, and name it. Um, and um, you can upload this and I'll be able to listen to it and check it out uh, at home. Okay, so remember to do two. This one is in minor and 6-8. You have to do one in major, and one of them has to be in common time, in 4-4 four, four time. <clears throat> in the major one, you also need to have triads in the bass and the melody in the top, but um, you, there should be no accidentals in the major one. Just keep it really simple. So um, again, in the major one, you shouldn't have uh, sharps and flats other than the ones that are in the key signature here. Okay, and if you have any questions, uh, shoot me a message and I'll get back to you.